welcome trainers and a happy new year to you. Thank you for coming back to watch this video. I really hope that you had a fantastic Christmas break and congrats for making it to 2021. You know, 2020, it was a tough year, but we've made it through and let's hope 2021 is gonna be a little bit kinder to us than last year was. Today's video is actually gonna be a bit of a special one because I'm actually making this video about the fact that I have a little cat called Bobbins coming home to us next week. As you can imagine, my hype levels are off the chart and I just thought it would be really nice to make a video showing you all the bits and pieces that I bought for her and how I've set them up downstairs. And then later on in the video, I'm actually gonna show you guys um, her arriving and her settling in and seeing how she plays with all the stuff that I've bought her. I might have gone slightly overboard. Let me just explain briefly how Bobbins ended up with us. Dominic's sister, Katie, had a friend who had a cat. And unfortunately, whilst that cat was due to get spayed last year, she didn't because the vets were canceling all non-essential operations because of COVID. Unfortunately, the cat managed to escape the house and accidentally got pregnant. And therefore, Katie's friend ended up having seven kittens on her hands that she needed to rehome. And she approached us and asked us if we would like to take one. And we obviously jumped at the chance. We had been hoping to rehome a cat last year, but unfortunately, we were never able to find a cat that was an indoor cat. We don't have a garden here. So we were looking for indoor cats only and they were just always reserved every time we were looking at the shelters. So it kind of felt a bit like fate that, you know, um, Katie's friend needed to rehome all of these kittens and we were in a position where we were really wanting to rehome a cat. And so we obviously just jumped at the chance. And as for Bobbin's name, this is a bit of a weird one, but I do believe in like, you can manifest stuff into the universe. Um, I had a dream that I was chasing a cat through a house. And as I was chasing this cat, I was shouting, Bob, Bobbins! And when I woke up, I told Dominic like, hey, I just had this super weird dream about chasing a cat called Bobbins. And he was like, well, obviously that's gonna be the name of our first cat. I was like, obviously. So that is why Bobbins is called Bobbins. I've never owned a cat before, so I definitely needed to do some research before Bobbins came home. And one of the first things I did was look online to see if there was like a checklist of things that I needed to buy for her before she arrived. And I know there's the really obvious ones like, you know, like the litter tray and stuff like that, but I just wanted to make sure I had everything. And so I based everything that I bought off of this Purina list. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go downstairs and show you guys everything that I bought and then where I've set it up in preparation for her arrival. Where is this? Yeah, this line's quite bad. Bad? Yeah. Spin back to what she's your face. Should I? <laughs> the first thing that I'm gonna set up is the cat tower because I need to build it. So this is what it should look like. Let's see what it looks like when I finally finish it. Now we have the cat tower, which I built with my very own hands. I'm very proud of that. Um, I wanted to get one that had some play bits on. So we've got like a fuzzy ball just here. And it also has the long scratching post so that the cat can reach up to the tallest that it is and scratch and stretch at the same time. And it's got a nice cozy little house on the inside and I'm gonna get some little blankets and put this in here so that Bobbins is nice and comfortable. My friend Carly, who has two cats, said that basically cats don't necessarily decide to sleep in the beds that you get them. So I thought, okay, instead of spending money on like a fabric bed, what I was gonna do was make one. So I got this Amazon box, um, at which some of the toys came in. And then I basically cut this door out and I'm gonna fill it with blankets. And then I put some custom artwork on hmm. the box just here. Um, they're kind of based off Animal Crossing characters, but I just like color them in different colors. Um, but Meowtown is my Animal Crossing village. And there's some more artwork on the sides as well. So we've got a little cat playing with a toy that I drew. And then I also drew this one as well, who's just like mauling a little fish toy. So this is the custom bed and I really hope that she does decide to sleep in it because I would be quite upset if she just ignored it. <laughs> this is the ceramic dish that I got for Bobbin's food. It's just got a little fish on the front. And the food that we actually chose for her is this Thrive um, Complete Kitten. So I did a lot of research on cat food 
uh, because I really wanted her to get, um, you know, the best nutrients out of what she was eating. And this one did seem to be the best one. So we'll have to wait and see if she actually likes it or not. <laughs> These are the toys that I got bobbins. The first is this tiered toy and there's balls in each of the tiers and you basically just spin them around and what's quite good about this is that the cat can't actually get these balls out so they just perpetually spin around and play with them until they get bored the next one is this track just down here and it also has a ball inside of it which as you can see is flashing and the point of this is that the cats again will be able to tap it all around chase after the ball but the ball won't be going anywhere to get lost so they'll just play with this it will spin around and what's really good about the toys is that because the track was flexible and you could build it in any way you wanted to I was able to build it in a way that this toy actually fit neatly inside today is the big day we are just out on our way to go and pick up bobbins from Katie. I've just actually popped out on my lunch break from work, so we've got to be quick, but I cannot wait to get her back home. We decided against filming bobbins on her first day. She was understandably a little nervous and we didn't want to make that worse by having a camera in her way while she explored the flat. She took her time going from room to room, investigating her new home. At first, she had little interest in the toys and cat tower and was also a little unsure of me and Dominic. But after some time and a nap, she did seem more confident and I began to show her how to play with her toys. She did then like go a bit mental and was running around the living room, chasing the balls, playing with the track. But there was some things that she didn't explore like the cat tower, the tunnel and Meow Town. The first night we were a bit unsure what to do with her as we knew she would potentially be alone for the first time in her life but we didn't want to shut her in alone or force her to stay in the bedroom as she would need access to her water and litter tray so we went to bed and waited to see what would happen and she began meowing and chirruping we encouraged her to climb the stairs and explore the bedroom and she like ran around for a bit and checked it all out. And when we got into bed, she jumped on it and stayed there literally the whole night sleeping. And that was a bit surprising because we really didn't think she would settle for the whole night. The next day she stayed in the office with us as we worked and we made her a bed by putting a blanket in an open drawer for her. She alternated between sleeping and then climbing up our office chairs to check out what we were doing on our laptops. Uh, and she even got introduced to my team at work via Zoom and they all loved her. When we went back upstairs after work, she was far more bold and began climbing the tower and investigating everything from the day before that she hadn't interacted with, including Meow Town. We've tried to get her used to us being out of the house as we didn't want this to become an issue when the lockdown ended. After two days of being with us, we were going for walks as per lockdown rules for around an hour each time. I was quite worried about leaving her, but when we got home, every time, she just seemed to have slept through and was completely fine. The next thing that I have to sort out for her is actually to get in contact with our local vets to sort out her immunizations, get her microchipped and also book her in to get spayed as well. Well, that's all from me and Bobbins today. Thank you so much for watching. And please feel free to leave any cat care tips in the comments below and also bonus points to the person who can tell me what video game I was playing whilst Bobbins was cleaning herself and me. Don't forget to also like and subscribe, especially as I'm sure I'll be making some more Bobbins content in the future. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!